Okay, now we move on to dealing with the all important daily attendance. If you're trying to record attendance, then that happens on the instructional side in the instruction link on the left. So from here under instruction, we go over here to the right and you will see attendance. Again, this is one of two places that uh, makes it easy for you to get to. The other place is actually in the teaching center. If I go to the teaching center, you can see here, uh, it will also show me right here, uh, the attendance uh, avatar. And if it's got a red dot on it, that indicates I have not taken attendance. And you can see this uh, Gen Science 6 period course, I have taken attendance. So again, you're gonna find whichever workflow works best for you, but those are really the two easy places to take attendance. Let me go into this course and look at its attendance. Um, if you do it from the card view, then attendance appears from the right hand side of the screen and it lets you use the traditional codes. Now, at, here at Webster Grove School District and in particular at the high school, we'll have a couple of other codes like X for being late by more than five minutes. Um, so you'll see maybe another box there show up eventually, but this is how you would just go through marking attendance for students, pretty easy uh, clicking. And then if you want to right here, there is an option uh, to add a comment about that particular attendance. So that's, uh, I think, a really important aspect of taking attendance in Infinite Campus that we really never had the option to with Tyler SIS, and that is to leave a comment about that particular attendance marking. So maybe, especially if it's more than five minutes, we could say it was actually eight or nine minutes. Um, if they are tardy to class, we can give some detail about what maybe what led them to be tardy, just to have more of a of a bigger picture than just simply uh, an attendance marking. Uh, once you go through and you mark your attendance, you can just press save down here at the bottom. It automatically defaults to all students being present. So the only ones you're marking are those that are anything other than present. Uh, once you do that, you'll notice here on the home screen that the attendance red circle has uh, disappeared and it's been replaced with a green check mark indicating that that attendance has been kept. Um, that is one way to take attendance. It's not necessarily uh, the, the only good option. There is another one where you can take attendance with your seating chart, and it's one that I have always liked for years uh, in SIS, especially in SIS 360, is that we can look at the attendance in the room, the seating chart, and actually mark it based on where the students are sitting. And that's really important in those early days, I think, when you're still learning students' names. So to do it that way, we go over here to the left and we click on Instruction, and then we click on attendance and you'll see you're not using card view anymore now you have this interface which you can easily switch between courses up here and when you're in this view uh, we can decide how we want to take attendance now if you've already watched my seating chart video you know that we did show you how to go through and make a seating chart and so you have the option here do you want to take attendance the way you saw earlier um, such as on the card view where you're just clicking on the, uh, the, the keys um, or do you want to use the seating chart? So if I click over to seating chart view, now this is going to use the chart that I have in my room and now I can actually see where students are located in the room and if there's an empty seat, then I know that that one's going to be an absence or if someone comes in late and I'm still learning their name and they sit down, um, I know that the second student uh, by the door, that student was the one that was tardy. Um, so I, I think that sometimes it can be a really fast way to take attendance, especially when students are showing up late and you're not, you're in the middle of teaching and you don't want to process which student and where the, you can just look at your seating chart and then just mark it. Um, when you do it on here, just note that it is going to use your chart. So if you switch charts throughout the semester, you just need to say which chart you're going to switch over to. Um, this is from my video earlier about uh, sorry, putting together a, um, a seating chart and I didn't put every student in a chair so if you have new students join your class and they haven't been assigned a seat yet in your chart they will actually show up at the top and then all those students that have a seat you will actually see them in that that same chart view uh, the way you save attendance on the seating chart view is by just pressing save right here so again each of us in our classrooms, we have our own ways we operate. We have our own comfort levels, our own workflows. This is my preference to take it by seating chart, but you may very well be satisfied with uh, the cards and taking attendance with the vertical list. While we're on the topic of attendance, I do want to mention what else we can do besides just take attendance, and that is maybe to view a student's current or past attendance. So if I am on an attendance page or any page where a student's name is blue, that means I can click on it and then see additional options. I'm going to click on this student here, 
and you see there's a link here that says to student information when I click on this link it's going to take me over to this page and I can see a student's attendance uh, for the day for the term uh, for the entire semester or for the year uh, again you can't do this feature unless you have a student chosen so if you're not gonna click on their name then you will get the option over here to see their attendance or any other field so uh, that allows you to check a student's attendance okay that's it that's all there is for taking attendance in infinite campus